Joining me this week is Giants wide receiver Darius Slayton. Darius, thanks so much for taking the time today. Uh, first of all, coming off a great game in London, led the team in receptions and receiving yards. What was clicking for you? Um, I think just got on the same page with DJ, and he gave me a lot of nice, easy, catchable balls, and I was able to make plays on him. You and DJ came into the league together, had a lot of chemistry early on, and have both kind of gone through a lot in your time in the NFL. What is that relationship like? Um, I think it's at this point it's kind of like a an old married couple, you know, like we kind of been through the ups, the downs, the good and bad, and um, you know, obviously right now, you know, we're on a pretty good tear right now, just as a team, and um, hopefully we'll be able to keep it going. You mentioned the ups and downs. One thing that stood out is, you know, Brian Dable talked about your mental toughness and how he just really respects your mindset week in and week out. What's the key to that for you? Um, I think just kind of the upbringing, the way I was raised. You know, I always raised to be humble. I always raised to work hard, you know, just, and at the end of the day, like if you work hard, you stay focused, you know, eventually opportunities will come your way. And at that point, it's on you to seize them. You know, speaking of seizing opportunities, this week you've got a Ravens team coming into town that gives up the most passing yards in the NFL. They also get quite a few interceptions, but having that opportunity right there, how do you build off of what you guys did in London? Um, I think just continuing to execute at a high level. You know, I think kind of in the second half we are able to do that. We are able to put some drives together, pick up some key third downs, and um, pretty much would be the same thing this Sunday, you know, just trying to execute play in and play out. Yeah, yeah. When you look at the way that your season has kind of built and the ebbs and flows, what stands out to you the most this year? Um, I think just our resiliency. You know, I think even Sunday we're down big, we're able to come back, get the win. We haven't always been, you know, on top of everything, executing at a high level, but we've executed when we needed to. And so I think that's been important for us. You know, obviously I've how the previous years have went, you know, we've found ways to win this year so far as opposed to in the past where we were, you know, maybe not making that one play we needed to win the game. So I think that's been huge for us and, you know, obviously something we need to continue to do. Yeah, the Giants are kind of a second half team this year. It seems like coming out of halftime strong and and like you said, it doesn't matter if you're getting down, you're still kind of playing through it. What is what's the key to that? Um, well, the first key is to start faster, you know, so, <laughs> so you don't have to do that. You know, that's kind of, you know, what it's been. And, you know, obviously you just you come in a halftime and I think just the energy in the locker room, you know, guys are positive. Guys know that the plays are there. We just have to do our part to a man to make them happen and um, been able to do that so far in the second half this year. Absolutely. Well, Darius Slayton, thanks so much for taking the time. Good luck this Sunday against the Ravens.